Hey folks, Whip here, and welcome to Empire's SMP. Today, I want to finish the tunnel to Gemini Tay's base, while expanding upon the Cave Empire and opening up the first entertainment venue. Shout out to Toad's World for the Boar Rider art, and a bonus today, shout out to Laney Bug for the Deep Dark Adventure squad art. Now leave a like and please subscribe to your favorite little green man. I have done the unthinkable. Everything is now sorted. Gravel, dirt, sand, rocks, more rocks, even more rocks. I've got so much space for new materials now that we're not living in the starter house. Three shulker boxes, completely empty, and an ender chest full of empty shulkers, which means it's time to collect a bunch more resources and continuing on past the butcher, which we built last time and it's fantastic if you missed it. It has an interior, I did one, but I wanna continue the tunnel bore all the way over to Gemini Tay's base for the goblin tram system. Lights might be in order. We might wanna get some lights. Oh, geez. Safety's the number one priority, I swear. This tunnel was a lot longer than I expected, but three hours later, and we finally arrived at dawn. And look at that. We've made it all the way over to dawn. The tunnel bore is complete. Let's see. Oh, things are getting dark here. Maybe we can spend the night, but let's see if we can find Jim. Oh, there's the tavern. Warden, I killed the dragon. Yeah, I, I, I've done, wow. I've done, I've, I've done so much that? and more. <laughs> That's so cool. You're here at my tavern singing. You're very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it, it comes naturally to me. So this isn't, this isn't my empire. <laughs> no, uh, this is Don. This, this is mine. I can show you around if you want. Who? Sure. He I mean, killed I, the I, warden? I, I, I did did he kind of he stole things. the stuff I, from I the city. Oh. The whole killing the dragon thing, it took a long time. I thought this was my house. Do you know where my house is? <laughs> I bet I could take you to it if you want. Right, he stole. I know what we're doing. I don't think he'll be able to resist a flower and dawn if he stands on top of it. We can lock him in here and we can take him. Look, here's the docks right here. You should be able to take that boat and, and find and find your place. Ah! Oh. Um. You saw nothing. Okay. I've caught my first lawbreaker. Let's see what the sheriff thinks about this one. One, I've got a bunch of materials. Look at all these rocks. We have so many rocks, even shiny ones. But I did it. I've got my first law disrespecter behind bars in a cage. But I need to get a gift for him first to make sure he really approves of me a long, long time ago in a land far, far away of episode one. I left some friends here inside of the cave. And I want to bring one with me today. Oh, just, just, just one. Just, just, you get in there. Please go. Oh, yes. Oh, we got one. Hi, come with me. Will the Alay follow me and snort? I really hope so. Hi. Hey, there he is. Howdy, howdy, Sheriff. How you doing? Howdy. Hey, well, oh. you've got a little fellow with you. I wanted hey, to bring hey, him over fun. just as a gift for my, my favorite Sheriff on the server. Wait, you giving me an alley? Yeah, yeah, come over here. I'll show you. Stop right. running away. No, stop, buddy, buddy, buddy. Stop, stop it. Stay I'm here. Trying, I'm trying. <laughs> you just tie him to a punch. <laughs> so I think if you click with an empty hand there, it takes the block from him. And then if you okay. give him a TNT, just right. like right click on him with a TNT. <laughs> and then go stand next to the post and throw it on the ground and he should pick it up for you. Wait, wait, wait. Go on. Oh my gosh. You've got a friend in me. You got. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that works so well. That's the biggest bamboozle in my whole entire YouTube career. Flip, that is the ultimate disrespect. That's the ultimate disrespect. I don't think we can be friends. You will only be forgiven if you let me keep this man. Oh yeah, no, he's all yours. <laughs> I feel sick. I think I need to throw up. I just made it back home from Tumbletown, and well, I completely forgot that I didn't tell Jimmy about the dude sitting in a cage over there. I gotta go all the way back. On the way down though, I've stopped here at the Great Bridge. This spawn is right over there because Sausage built this giant sword. I know, Snort, it's a little sharp, it's scary. Stay. There's supposed to be stuff in here. Stuff. Ooh, mangroves. Terracotta barrels. I like barrels and packed mud and a composters. A mending diamond pickaxe. Okay, we don't have that yet. All right, okay. You know what? We're gonna take these 
We're gonna take these. We're just gonna have a little bit of a field day in here and it's fine. I will declare here that the Goblin Empire shall build something on this bridge and contribute back to society as well for these generous gifts we've taken. Here we are in the grand new entrance to Tumbletail. Look at it. We're coming in on the railroad. Is the sheriff here? Sheriff? 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 Blight number one, noise pollution, Tumbletown. Oh, what is going on in Tumbletown here? Is that a salmon powered mech of sorts? Oh, we'll clean this up. Nope, nope, we don't clean that up. We don't clean that up. We don't, we just, the sheriff's a big strong man. He can handle it. But did he, he took, he took some of the rocks. He left the other rocks. I'll leave this sign here. Sheriff, I arrested a law disrespecter. Please visit Goblin ASAP, deputy number two. He knows it's me. Snort? Snort didn't like the noise. Where'd Snort go? Snort, what are you doing up there, buddy? He really, ah, oh, he's got sensitive ears. I get it. I know how it is. It's really loud here. I want to see if Shelby's home because she said we could stop by and get a bunch of these mangrove roots. And I need more for more barricades. Hello. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Oh, hello. What's his name? Snort? This is Snort, yeah. Oh, I'll never forget Snort. He's so cute. Yeah, I know. I love him. Well, I was in the neighborhood. I took a wrong turn after leaving Tumbletown, and I heard you had a lot of mangrove roots you were trying to get rid of. Oh, I got plenty, and there's always going to be more, so I'll happily drop it off at your house. But I put what I've got so far in here. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's gonna be amazing. I've I've really heard you need to grow a lot more things around here just because, you know, it's not really lush oh. enough, you know? Uh, so I thought no. these might be able to help you out. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, yeah, this is a big help. All right, I'll trade you these bone blocks and I'll just keep feeding you roots. Oh, yeah, all right. You know what? A down payment on the <gasps> next set. Oh, heck yeah. Finally back home in Goblin where it is time to do some work. But first, I unloaded all of these shoker boxes, so they are completely empty. I refuse to start a chest monster when I literally just organized this stuff for the first time ever. But look at this copper ore chest and this iron ore chest and the miscellaneous mostly coal ore chest. You get the idea. We got a lot of shiny rocks over here. Unfortunately, I'm going to be filling these all back up. Seeing the tavern in dawn gave me a great idea. Gobland is already an awesome place to hang out but we don't really have a place that's too safe or hospitable for neighboring empires to stop by and hang out so i'm thinking we turn this corner right here into a beautiful goblin tavern one problem though as uh, breaking the fourth wall here i've been planning out the build the interior of the build i'm taking on the challenge of designing the interior first and then an exterior to match and well let's say it starts here it's gonna go out to here. The interior is currently 30 blocks wide. Yeah, it's currently 25 blocks deep. Let's get rid of the lava and it's time to get digging. And I did get digging, instantly regretting my decision to not get a beacon yet in this series as it took over two hours to completely mine out the section for the interior of the tavern. But thankfully poking into the open space of the cavern, I was able to save some time utilizing that. With one very, very dead pickaxe, it's time to repair this thing up and get to work on planning out the space because it's very much in the ugly stage of the build right now. And that'll do it. We're definitely doing an episode soon where I get super upgraded. I can't work on these tools. Diamonds? Psh, no. But now with a giant box dug out, we can take down all of the polished granite we used for the scale. And I've got a lot of copper in here aging down and spewing out of the front of the storage room because I have the absolute weirdest list of materials to gather for this build since this grocery list was massive i decided to stream and gather up everything and my oh my i spent nearly three hours getting blocks together to design the interior of the tavern i haven't even started on the exterior and it already took so long but we've done it here are all the materials i am going to need to build this entire tavern for the interior space and we've got some funky blocks in here too since i've got it all planned out i want to work from the bottom going up the top as this thing is very complex for an interior space next i want a very vibrant floor so we're just going to fill it all with red terracotta Deep slate to section some places off into like VIP zones, or even just a general spot around the bar. Oh, 
From there, I started to add to the base layer of the furniture and the build itself to better plan out the walkable spaces in our lounge. Here you can see the central bar area coming together, and I want some really fun accent walls. So first, I'm thinking frog lights over here. Which we can make all cool by framing them with some stairs and trapdoors. Wow, so trendy. Look at that. Wow. Then over here, even more trendy, we could bring in the skulk and make a big wall out of this, which I love because it's almost animated and moving. From there, I wanted to finish the layout of the build by building all of the spruce supports and adding in the mangrove slab ceiling to give it a darker, moodier atmosphere. Now, I think it's pretty important to put some light in here. Next up, I want to finish up the floors to the second layer so that I can move around much more easily. So there are two lounge sections, one on the back and one on the front. Next, polished blackstone walls right in here. Lecterns on top. And mangrove slabs on top of those. Lastly, for the railing going up to the second floor, we can do some lecterns right like in here with walls down below. Then we just do slabs on top of everything. Things are really starting to come together here. I've just got a bunch more walls I need to build. All of the walls are now filled in, ready to go. I missed a spot up there. Ignoring that, we've got this last one here. And I thought some of our oxidized copper could look really cool. I don't do this often, but I had to throw on the shaders to show you all the drip tavern. Look at it. It's beautiful. Just kidding. The outside's still in the ugly phase. We'll sort that soon. But the inside look at the vibes oh i love it in here i just need to hide a little spore blossom right up here perfect and maybe some glow berries to bring in the goblin cavern vibes here we have the central bar here looking awesome drawing everybody in where we will be including some goblin villagers around here i just need to catch some more of them back here we've got the wall look how trendy it is and cool yeah then we got the skulk wall over there kudos to good times to scar for this idea for how to build out the benches absolutely love it we've got big old barrels of soda over there we've got a little station for performers to hang out here on the stage a second bar then more seating up here more seating over here and even more giant barrels and now as i have a stage before i build the exterior i must tell you a tale a tale of how i bamboozled the gods like all good stories it begins with me killing a god i will fight back for it out get out of here you arrows you're so, so good i'm cracked <laughs> no! oh he's cracked take his stuff he cracked open. take his stuff and then the god killed me after learning about a harmless prank. Are you not on good terms? I guess you're not on good terms. <laughs> yeah, maybe not after today. Yeah, I thought we were. I thought we were on great terms, but you know. I, I don't know if he not figured anymore. out that I waxed his copper yet. Do you know if he's figured that, that out? That was you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. I love that. <laughs> Lizzie, get him! Lizzie, get him! I can't! I've got terrible aim! He's gonna hit me and I'm gonna die! Ah! What could go wrong? No! <laughs> yeah! So naturally, I called upon the protector of Goblin to assist in this time of need. He's on his Run! way. Run! Oh, he's coming around the corner. Frip, what have you done? I thought we were allies, friend. I've done nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. Why is she so weak all the time? What? <laughs> oh, he's coming! Oh, he's, he's coming! coming he's coming! There oh, he is. So Guys, he's it's on the so surface. Dark. It's yes. coming. Joe, run, 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 oh run, my run. Gosh. All right. Oh, picks run. Picks oh, run. I'm running, I'm running. Oh, trying to finish. Chasing quick. I'm dead. I'm so dead. All as a ploy to collect a very, very rare item. No! As if you oh got the skull. Goodness. We did all the work, Frip. That cheeky time. goblin. That cheeky <laughs> goblin. <laughs> Great battle. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> he's leaving through his little cheeky hole. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. Oh, my God. Where's the entrance? <laughs> <laughs> it oh, worked. I got the warning head.
And it is here that the warden head shall sit for future patrons to gaze upon the might of the Goblin Empire. But now I probably need a little bit of an exterior. I've run out of copper blocks to build with. So first thing here is we need to get a bunch more lava to smelt a load of copper down. First shipment can go off and we get the rest. Three stacks or the raw copper blocks in here. And we should start seeing a few popping out. Yes, yes we are. Will we wait? I do want to take down this pillar. Yes, landed it. While waiting for all the copper to smelt, we can get started on the windows. Mangrove around the edge and some orange glass in the middle. Then from here, I want to use a lot of mud since it's a pretty large structure. We need to make it look like it's structurally sound, unlike most of Goblin. But let's make some big boxes around it. Then in between, we can just recess it back a block. Now inside these places, so they're not just boxes, we do some stairs and walls. Now from here, I'm thinking we put some wax copper blocks all the way across the top and then deep slate on top of that, which looks nice, but flat. So for that, I'm thinking we bring spruce trap doors and frame all of the copper. And that is looking really cool. Okay, continuing the mud build down to the ground with a small structure, I threw in a mangrove roof before adding in a contrasting section with the cyan and then a crimson roof to connect the windows to the ground. From here, I've been working on the front entrance as well, where I think we can bring ourselves in with a big doorway and have some fun with a giant warped door. This way it pops a little bit. Off to the side using some anvils with some soul fire lanterns and we'll connect the road up to there. But for now, I want to focus on the main build itself, surrounding our doorway with some polished granite. And a detail I haven't used for a while is just putting some note blocks in the build. I wanted to put a giant place for a piece of dripstone to hang out here as the main figure of the tavern things are very dark up here but my thought is we take one and two pointed dripstones right like that and then we just coat the entire outside with glow like it some copper slabs in the base and now it's shiny next to match the fluorescent light vibe we got on the storage room i thought we could add one in here too except this time a new idea is we add signs which i think looks really good just need the lever on the top too for the roof i'd like to try some weathered copper Next, for this roof, since it's really big, I was thinking we could create a walking way. Then if I grab some spruce, a bunch of acacia stuff, and to cover up this mangrove ceiling, we can just build some cool little houses. Since we're so limited on space here in the cavern, I want to make sure I'm able to use every square inch of it. And that's going to be really nice up here. Finishing off the tavern exterior, I created a few more goblin houses on the corner built against the main wall, then of course added a sign on top of the building because I like signs and signs are cool. Signs are cool, right, fellow kids? Signs are cool. Now, what is also very cool, look at that beautiful guy right over there. We've got ourselves a bartender. But that will have to wait a moment here as my current method for transportation is that to the top. And I don't like that. And hopefully this works to get us all the way to the top. One, two, and three. Nice. I do, however, need to remember to send the minecart back down. Press of a button and it is off. Next up, I want to take some stone and just hide this wall behind a cliff. And that should do it. Last up, I need to move this villager inside to be the bartender so come on no okay you can have the boat don't worry we have a great employee training program you're gonna do fine now for the test can he get behind the bar and then you're stuck inside <gasps> yes oh yes have a little splash and there you go he should hopefully not be able to get out of there this is the big test we'll come back and say hello soon and here we have somewhere where'd he go there he is look at him the bartender Hello, good sir. I would like redstone. Oh, this is gonna be so good. <laughs> I love him. I need to find one more villagers to put over here, but we gotta wait for the traps to work. So that'll be in the future. Moving on from the tavern idea, however, I wanna show the sheriff that we respect him. 
So I've been working on a little bit of a pathway back here because I want to be a very valuable deputy number two. So I think right over here, we need to build him a base of operations for when he's visiting the Northern Empires. Getting right into it, I built a small two-story home on the dripstone spike to fill in the space the old cobble gen created and connected it up to the deep slate pathway. And here we have it, the sheriff's home away from home. We'll have to show the sheriff his new home as soon as we can see him. But for now, it's time for a soda pop because I wanted to see the little villager again. Oh, I love him. Speak of the devil, look who's here. Wait, where is he? Where's this? Oh, there he <gasps> is, there's that little leader. guy. Oh my gosh. Hi, there leader. Hi. Look at those, the sheriff. Look at those big ears. Oh my oh gosh, my yeah. God. Oh, it's good to see you, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. I've got, I got your message. I got your message, and uh, I've got something for oh, you good. now. Oh, good. Yes. You said on the sign you wanted to be deputy number two. I am. Yep. I can be deputy number two. I got you. <gasps> is that is that? Here is your badge. It's a deputy badge. We'll cherish this you forever. Are hired. Oh yes, 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 yes. Speaking of yeah. which, speaking of which, yeah. I got something to show you. Follow me this okay. way, please. Right, right over here. For you. Wait. The sheriff's home away from home. Wait. Oh, no you. way. You know, you live in the Southlands. I figured you needed something to help uh, keep the Northern Empires in check. So I built you a little sheriff's office home away from home. Oh my gosh. Wait. This is so nice. Yeah. Oh, you got your little control room up nice. here. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Just hitting buttons. I, yeah. I like doing that as the sheriff. Yeah. 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 Just hitting buttons like this. Yeah, oh and then gosh, out over here, we don't we don't have to look at him too long. He, if you look at him, he starts crying. But I've got a I've Wait, got a. Who's little, that? Uh, we'll talk about that later. I've already arrested somebody. Wait. It's great that I have the badge now. See, I work. I got a little jail cell over there. It's perfect. Wait, what did he do? He stole from me. He stole. Wait, I found out. I caught him in dawn. I taught. I caught him in dawn bragging about how he stole from the goblin cave. What? I know. And you've already, dude. Well, I've got a proper jail as well, so we could. You know, oh, good, if you good, ever good. get too many people, we can, you know, mm -hmm. you can just I only have one cage, well. so I'll, if I if I need a, somebody else, I'll send them down your way. But you also got this balcony out here where you got a nice little bench around the corner, but you can look out over the entire cavern. This is insane. This is, you know what? This screams respect. The perfect place for the deputy badge is right here in my bedroom. Oh, I'm going to cherish that forever. This is going to be a great transition. Are you ready for it? Secret tunnel time. Respectful secret tunnel digging. The next location I want to link up to here is Animalia. And before Lizzie lugs in, I should probably check out. I'm thinking this house. This house is pretty close to us. What if we were to just get in right here? I'll just add on my own basement to the house. Right. Got the coordinates? Let's start digging. After I patch this back up. Tunnel's been dug out, but next up here, I need a lot more rails. I think it's time we just stack up on a bunch of them. Or rather, stock up on stacks. Beefy bitch. A beefy bitch. Porcupine. She's on to us. We have to be very, very quiet. You'll be very quiet as we're going. Oh, where are there so many mobs? Okay, yeah, but wait, I want that guy. Yes. Oh, we've got him. Okay. Oh, well, he's on now. Oh, that's good. Okay, I lost my boat though, but he's on the rail. This is much more important than secret tunnel or second bartender. Oh, you can stay here, buddy. Welcome to Gobland. We'll cure him up here soon. And with that, the rail is now completed all the way to Animalia. This should work to pop me out right inside. Yes, 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 yes. There's my torch. Okay, this will work perfect. We just need to build a basement in here. She'll think she decorated it. Now, how can I make this inconspicuous? Yeah, it's probably fine. So I lied. I guess I am going mining ever again. That's good. She's leaving. Oh, yeah. She's leaving. That oh, important. that's very important that she's leaving. Okay, we have time to finish this then. That's that's going to be great. Good that she's leaving. Double checking up top here, and it looks like everything is still intact. And that's the only telltale sign. I don't think she'll notice it. But down here, we've got a fully furnished basement. If she does, she'll just think, oh, hey, I built this and decorated it. And right around the corner in the back... We've got our trapdoor down. Now, if we ever need to check up on Boris, we've got a minecart to get there. Because he's still alive, right? Right? 
In the last episode, I might have pranked our godly neighbor, and then also, you know, this episode threw a warden in his base. But he's still a good buddy, and I've been aging a bunch of copper down. So let's take this stack of fully oxidized copper over to his base. Safety is definitely not the number one priority. Look at this, you just fall right off. And this, this is what I have to walk over to get to his base. <laughs> We made it. Some of the oldest copper derived from goblin. We goblins may be pranksters, but only to our friends. We're still friends, right? His smiley face. Ah! Survived. Easy. Had it all along. No problems at all. Let's go home. Now, the only question left is what do I do with the man in the cage? Apparently, he stole some pants for me or something, which I don't really remember about, but something told me I should put him in there for lore reasons, of course. Very crucial lore reasons. Just like the lore tavern of the drip is now completed. And that is all I've got time for today. My friends, this thing took a heck of a long time to design and build up here. So be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're brand new. But with that, my friends, I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Deputy Flip, signing out.